this is Tace. Welcome to Kaya at Home. Um, thanks for meeting me at the mat today. Um, we're going to do a glute series today. Well, I'm going to do a glute series. Sebastian's just going to annoy me. Um, first, one, first glute series we're going to do is on our mat on our backs. You can use one of these at different points if you've got it. I know some of you have picked these up of late. If you don't have it, don't worry. I'll give you um, obviously modifications without the circle. We'll do a couple of different sequences here, um, maybe aiming for about 10 minutes of glute work. So let's get down, let's get started. So guys, I'm gonna get you to come down onto your back to start. Um, we will take our back long way. Sebastian, you might have to move my little belly. All right, and from here, we're gonna make sure we find neutral spine. So go for a couple of pelvic tilts. <laughs> Sorry guys. All right, now we're gonna start with the hip rolls. Arms are long down by our side. Our feet are about hip distance apart. Our heels are towards our tailbone, all right? And we're gonna take a breath, we're gonna scoop, tuck, and peel ourselves off the mat. When you come to the top, you wanna to make sure here that your core is still engaged, feeling the weight really heavy through your heels. So as you feel the weight heavy through your heels for this first part, you should start to feel the connection through the posterior chain, so your glutes and your hamstrings. Cool, and you wanna feel your, your knees lengthening over the ends of the mat when you're in a bridge shape. There's a really nice stretch as well through your hip flexors. Progression here, reach your arms up to the sky, shoulders back and down. Guys, if you had the circle, this is where you would thread your legs inside the circle and have the circle on the outside of your legs. I'll just show you here. So we take our legs like so. I'll do this sequence with the circle. If you don't have it, don't worry, okay? I'll make everything friendly without the circle. So scoop, tuck and peel up. You're actually squeezing the circle now into like an oval shape, all right? And then slowly melt down, stretching out through the spine, so mobilizing the spine at the bottom. Take a breath, squeeze against the circle so the circle becomes an oval shape if you have it, and you scoop, tuck, and peel up. We go. We're going to hold this at the top, core is engaged, and slowly melt down, stretching out through the spine. One more here, feeling the weight heavy through the heels, light through the toes, up we go, and we're going to hold this at the top. So if you've got the circle, you've got that extra tension through your hips and your abductors. Not there, doesn't matter. Still keep the knees lengthening to the edge of the mat. We're going to drop our tailbone down and lift straight back up. Guys, I'm actually going to do this on the clock today for this first sequence. I just tend to find that you really get the burn. Sorry, Sebastian's leaving the room. So we're going down and up, down and up. Well done, guys. So we're going to do this first one, hinging, lifting, still maintaining neutral spine, feeling the work through the back of the legs. If you want to deepen that burn, lift your toes off. Cool? We're going to hang out here for about another 10 seconds. Progression your arms up to the sky, shoulders down, arms are strong. We're gonna stay here for five, four, three, two. Hold this at the top, guys, stay there. So the pelvis is uber steady. I want you to lift up top end range, little squeezes up. So just little boot, booty lifts. Good, we're gonna go for 30 seconds here. All right, so up. I'm already feeling a pretty decent burn here, guys. So if you're joining in, hopefully you are enjoying the burn just as much as I am. Pretty juicy, little pulses up, up, up. Okay, going up. Up. If you have that circle, you create that extra tension so it gets really fiery through here. So keep going, guys. Little pulses up, up, up. Let's go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold this at the top, stay there. All right, guys, now keeping your pelvis super steady, we're gonna take our feet a little bit closer to our tailbone. We're gonna lift up onto the balls of the feet. So we're splaying the toes really wide, we start to work the calves. We're gonna lower the heels down, and then we lift the heels up. Let's do 30 seconds of calf raises. All right, down and up, down and up. All right, so just lowering, lifting, lowering, lifting. Keep the tension against the circle if you have it there. If you don't have it, as you said, no problem. Good, keep going down and up, down and up. So calves are working. Good, feel the balls of the feet on the mat, splay the toes really wide. 10 seconds, feel it, almost there, crew. Feeling that burn, getting a little more intense. We've got three, two, hold that at the top, stay there. Awesome work, guys. Now walk those toes a little closer to your tailbone. We're gonna do those hip thrusts at the top end range, little 10, and and, and, and lift up. Keep going, seven, we've got six up, five up, four up, three up, two up. Hold that at the top, squeeze everything, everything is on fire. Five, four, three, two, one, and melt down, stretching out vertebrae by vertebrae, heels down. 
Good, get rid of the circle, guys. Hug your knees into your chest, little massage of the lower back releasing through the booty. All right, so let's go to our second sequence here. It's gonna be single leg. Guys, if any of you are not happy with single leg work, I get it, um, it can be quite intense. It's not for you. Feel free at any point to go back to your double leg sequence, okay? So we come back down to the mat, the feet are hip distance apart. We're gonna lift the hips up in one straight move this time. Still lengthening the knees to the ends of the mat. Feel the power through the back line of the body. You're gonna lengthen that right leg then from that. Oh, here comes Sebastian again. Excuse me, out the way. Sorry guys, move, 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 thank you. All right, right leg to the end of the mat, flex that foot so that leg is active. Replace that foot back down, pelvis steady. <laughs> this is the fun of doing care at home. Get out there. Oh, he's talking. Left leg to the end of the mat, stop it. And then the foot back down. Good, so just keep lengthening the leg to the end of the mat and then pop the foot back down. Good. Make All right, so steady. taking this a little bit harder, arms up again. Let's just do one more on each leg. Finding the power on the supporting hand, and glute. <laughs> Good. And then we take the passion. You're interrupting my workout. Cool. And then we're going to take the right leg to tabletop, and we're going to lengthen that leg to the end of the mat. So I'm not moving through the left hip. We've got music now at all. <laughs> Get it, Sebastian. We've got four. Good. We've got three. So the left leg is burning here. We go for two. Take that right leg to the end of the mat. Take the leg up to the sky and we take it down. Oh yeah, guys, you should be feeling the burn on that left booty. I definitely am. Good, arms up to work a little harder. Let's go for four. Good, we've got three. We got two. Last one, leg up to the sky, point the toe. Squeeze that left glute, up, 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 up. Hold it, five, four, three, two, one. Foot down, realign your hips. This is an option to melt down if your lower back's feeling a little crusty and then come all the way back up. Oh, let's take the other leg to tabletop, weight through the right heel, feeling the connection through the glute and hamstring, aren't we Sebastian? Yes. We take that left leg to the end of the mat and then we return. So the pelvis is still steady and square, core engaged. Cool. And in. let's go for five. We got four. Well done guys. We got three. Nearly there. Two. And last one, take that leg into tabletop. Take the leg up to the sky and we're gonna lower it down and kick back up. Good, so again, we're steady. The only thing that's moving is your limb, your, your left leg, feeling the power through the core and the right side of the body. Let's go for four more. Four and up, three and up, two and up. Last one, leg up, point the toe, squeeze that right glute, hold, 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 hold. Come all the way back down, replace the feet on the mat, roll down vertebrae by vertebrae, hug your knees into your chest. Very nice. All right, guys. We're gonna do one more here before we come into some sideline glute work. So feet down onto the mat. I'm gonna actually this time get you to take your right leg, drop it across your body. Still single legs, hips as steady as you can. Lift the hips straight up. Cool, and then straight down. Weight heavy through the left heel, up. Down, let's do 30 seconds on each leg. Good, again, arms up, you've got a little bit more juice. Try to open up through the front of your hips. Very nice, down and up, down and up. Good job, guys. Squeeze into that left glute, feel the burn. All right, we are halfway through. <laughs> All right, turn and up. And we're nearly there. 10 seconds and we will stay at the top. Good, just really get the icing on the cake with that hamstring. Four, three, two, one. One, hold, squeeze it, hold it there, little pulses, 10, and a nine. So just that icing on the cake. There we go, six, and a five, and a four, and a three, and a two. Hold, 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 melt down, good. Other leg across the body, open up through the hip, lift the hip straight up and hold. All right, guys, here we go, let's drop down and up, 30 seconds of boot burn, booty burn, good. So hinge, left, hinge, left. At the same time, you're opening up through the front of that left hip, which should feel kind of nice. Steady as we can go. Very good. 15 seconds. Sebastian is looking right into my face. <laughs> and we're nearly there. We're eight, <clears throat> seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it at the top. Out of the way, Sebastian. Hold it there. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Little pulses, 10. 
nine, mash it out the way, eight, seven, six, five, lift up, four, lift up, three, lift up, two, lift up, hold it and squeeze, 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 and then knock down. Good job, guys. Hug your knees into your chest. Good. Let's come on up. All right. So our second sequence we're going to do today is your sideline glute work. So with your sideline glutes, um, I'm going to give you about three positions to work in. Do what feels good for you. So you might want to sign the harder option, then take it down a notch and then take it um, another notch down if you're finding it really challenging. So where you can try to work to work a little bit harder is like a variation on a side plank. So you're going to take your right hand to the mat, get that squeeze under the armpit so you start to feel a workout through the shoulder girdle and the lap. You're going to take the hand down and we're going to find like a half side plank. So your hips are stacked. You've got a long line from head <clears throat> all the way down to your hip and your knees. Now from here, if you're not feeling comfortable, I'll give you an option in a moment. We're gonna take that top leg long and like I'm dragging you by the heel, I want you to create lots of space through the whole body. If you're not feeling okay on your rest, you can do that same variation on your forearm and lift up through the hip. If you're not feeling okay with that, keep the hips down but make sure you're not slumping down the mat like we're watching them. Um, you know, our favorite Netflix series at the moment. Picking up through the underneath waistline so you've still got the obliques working, still got the shoulder girdle working. I'm gonna do this option today, okay, because I have to talk through at the same time. Whew. Unfortunately, you guys get to just work on your alignment. Um, and we're gonna work like this, okay? If you've got a little bit less that you need today, like you're like, oh, I'm sore from yesterday or whatever it may be, it doesn't feel amazing on your shoulder. You can do the same sequence down here on the mat, but I want you to make sure, see how I just lifted my waist off the mat? Think about neutral spine when we're standing. We still create that length all the way from our head to our rib cage, to our hip bone, to our ankle. We don't just slump on the mat again like we're watching television or just chilling out, okay? We're in Pilates, we're gonna watch our alignment. So from here today, I'm gonna to work in this position. Shoulder on top of the elbow, waist engaged, hips are stacked. Make sure your hip is not rolling back, but slightly rolling forward. Create length through that top leg. Cool, we're gonna lift and lower that top leg. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, <clears throat> 12, 11. If you do have a weight at home as well, you can pop it on your hip if you wanna work a little bit harder. Yep, we'll go for eight, seven, six, waist engaged. <clears throat> We've got four, three, two, hold the leg at the top. I'd like 10 pulses, 10, and nine, and eight, and seven. We've got six, and five, and four, three, two, and one. Little Sebastian, sweep that leg forward, and then we're gonna swing that leg back. So creating lots of space through your leg, and he's coming back again, guys. Oh, he just loves it, me being home, doing workouts at home. Don't you, boy? <laughs> he's nearly 14 year old, years old, guys, so he's so funny. Sebastian, move, please. Sorry, guys, keep going with that. I'll get you to go for four more. <laughs> Otherwise, he just wants the camera to himself. We've got three more. <laughs> Two more. All right, it's like you're pushing that leg through a pile of water. Last one, take that leg back and hold. Lift up through the waist if you started to collapse. All right, hold that there, guys. Now from here, sweep the leg forward on an angle. Lift it up in his journey. It's 10, you should be burning now. Nine, side line glutes. Eight, seven, six up, five up, four up, three up, two up, one. Sweep the leg back so the heel lands just behind your tailbone. Pick up from that waistline, core engage. Draw some circles with your heel. And this is the burn up, five. Four, more length through the leg. Three, two, one, hold, other way. Five, nearly there, guys. Four, you've got three, you've got two. One, hold, sweep the leg forward on the angle. Last little bit, turn the toes down. Internal rotation, lift up, 10 little pulses. Nine, eight, nearly there. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, oh, done. Tap, 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 tap. That should be burning. All right, guys, just roll onto your back. Give that glute a quick stretch here before we go straight to the other side. Hug the knees into the chest, just rock it out side to side. All right, let's even those legs up, and then I think that should be ample workout for our booty today. Up and over the other way. Okay, so again, find your position you want to work in. You can go working more into the arm. If you lift right up into your semi-side plank, hips are rolling forward. Core engaged, leg long, okay? If you want that little bit, uh, that same sort of workout, but you don't like doing that on your rest, that's great. Come into this position, all right? If you've got a little bit less, 
do like I did in the last sequence. You still have to lift up through that waistline. A little bit less again if you're getting a little bit fatigued. Calm down, but make sure your waist is still engaged and lifting off the mat. You're not just slumping down. Okay, let's work inside and repeat that all on this side. Shoulder on top of the elbow, top leg straight and strong. We're gonna lift and lower that leg for 20, 19. So everything is on here, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14. Nice day today. <laughs> Good, let's go for another 10. Nine, create more length for that top leg. Wait here if you need more, okay? You got five, four, three, two. Hold the leg up, little pulses, 10 of them. Nine, eight, seven, shoulder on, waist on. Five, four, three, two, hold, okay? You can always even take your arm up to the sky if you really want to challenge your balance. You're going to sweep that leg forward like you're swinging your leg through a pile of water and sweep that leg straight back. Heel lands behind the tailbone. Swing that leg forward, powering through the hamstring and the glute. The quad is still active. Let's do this eight more times. So sweep forward and back. <clears throat> Seven. Good. Six. So make sure your foot's not collapsing to the ground. Yeah, we want to use the hip. And back. Let's go for four more. Sweep forward and back. Three more. Good. Two more. Last one. Swing the leg forward. Hold. Hold. Set out, guys. Ten. So the leg's on an angle now. Nine. Eight. Seven. Everything's on. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Hold. Swing the leg back. Create more length through the leg. Pick up through the waistline. Draw those circles. Five. Burner, guys. Four. Oh, you've got three. Two. One hold, change direction. Five, four, three, two, one hold. Now sweep the leg forward on an angle, turn the toe down. You're going to lead with heel. Uh, icing on the cake, 10 little pulses. Nine, internal rotation of the hip. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Done. Tap, 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 tap. So, you guys, you can do all that sort of work as well with an elastic, but hopefully, if you're doing it like I was, you don't need it. All right, guys, push that knee away, lift up, have a little rock out from side to side and release through your glutes. All right, so thanks, guys, for joining me at Care at Home for your glute burner today. Hopefully you felt it as much as I did, and hopefully uh, we'll see you very soon for another workout. Catch you later, guys.